I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we explore the madness that is pumpkin spice everything. As a tribute to the, to the godfather of pumpkin spice, uh, I'm gonna taste the PSL first. And believe it or not, I have tried this before. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing, okay? So let me give it a taste, and you know, I'm gonna withhold judgment until I taste it again. It's not that bad, right? Um, you definitely taste all the spices first. Uh, you taste, actually, believe it or not, I get a little salty note, which I think is really good. Um, but it's a little sweet, I think, for a coffee. And I do like my coffee a little sweet, but I just think that um, I like pumpkin, but I don't necessarily want to drink it. Right, does that make sense? <laughs> Peppage, Peppage. Pepperidge Farm Milano Pumpkin Spice, limited edition. Limited edition, people. Now, this is a good cookie. I like Milano's. Um, I can only assume that they've ruined it with pumpkin spice. Uh, so let me give it a try. Oh, yeah. Well, not completely ruined, but again, like some of the other stuff, the pumpkin spice is chemical tasting. Um, I love these cookies, just the chocolate ones. They even have a mint one that's really good, but whenever they mix that white chocolate and pumpkin spice flavor in there, big thumbs down, not good. Although I do love these cookies. I wouldn't eat these. Pumpkin spice Cheerios, limited edition again. It looks so wholesome. <laughs> whenever I see Cheerios, I think of when babies eat it and they get their little fingers and they're like, and then they get it like into their mouth. Mm. That's good. See, I like this. Again, we go back to that savory flavor. I think Cheerios nailed it. Yeah. Although you do get a little of that, that fake cinnamon in the back. I could eat these. Um, it kind of tastes like a honey nut Cheerio with just a little bit of spice to it. I guess a thumbs up. I'm not even halfway through, we've just started, and I already need to bring in some support. I'm gonna bring my daughter in, she's gonna sit with us for a minute or two uh, and taste some of the stuff. She'll be in and out of the video as we go, my daughter Kira. And I figured Hello. this was a good some good one to start with her with, is the protein spice smoothie uh, from <laughs> Trader Joe's. And we use Trader Joe's a lot, I love Trader Joe's, and I'm not trying to bag on them, but they have pumpkin spice Everything. overload. Like they so have an entire section. I'm gonna give it a shake. This actually has some pumpkin puree in it, and I'm sure that it has, like, um... Can I smell? Smell. Uh, it's kind of neutral smelling. Let's taste. It kind of just smells like actual pumpkin. So this this makes me think of Harry Potter and pumpkin juice. <laughs> That's what it makes you think of. Let me taste here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. I don't... I just taste, like, cumin. Yeah, it's kind of weirdly savory tasting. Um, you know what it tastes taste, like? You know what it tastes like? What? Eggnog. It tastes like yeah. an uh, yeah. uh, unsweetened eggnog. I don't say it's horrible. I'm going to give it halfway. Not a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's like I would drink it. Okay. Like I, I would I, say. I wouldn't. <laughs> I, no, okay, I'll give it a thumbs down. I'm I'll sorry. give it a thumbs up because it's not okay. like actually too again. bad. <laughs> Pumpkin empanadas, delicately spiced pumpkin filling with the traditional pay, flaky pastry. Heat and serve. Four empanadas. Now, okay. I don't know. I, don't I love know. empanadas. Okay? okay. I'm going to break one in half. Yeah. You can try it. It's hot. Be careful. Ooh. Ooh. It's very, that's like a, that's like a, um. It looks like a pumpkin pie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? I'm going to get like this side. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Mm. It's weird. Yeah. It's kind of sour. Right? Like. It tastes like. Oh. Mm mm. No. Mm mm. No, no, thank you. It's like. It's taking a lemony or like. It's like baby food? <laughs> yeah. Um, like. Sorry. Uh, like gonna, carrots? Like baby yeah. carrot food? Uh, I'm giving it a thumbs down. Yeah. No. That's no, just not. You. Not good. Keep it away. <laughs> I'll take this away. <laughs> Pumpkin yogurt. I've never had this brand. Have you had this brand before? I've never had this brand. Okay. I didn't even know. It's like kind of an odd shape for yeah. a yogurt. Oh. Ooh. Nice one. 
I, I think oh. it smells It smells pleasant. like vanilla. I'm, let me stir it. Should I stir? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. I think it's probably, that's the pumpkin stuff. Yeah, that's the pumpkin stuff down below. This actually, I think, this, I personally think yes. I think because it, do, it doesn't look like it's going to be too sweet. Yeah. Like it's going to look a little like, taking a very little I'm bit. I'm taking a big bite. I like this. This is good. This is really good. This is a huge thumbs up. I love this actually. It tastes like, like it, mm. I think the vanilla was really smart. It's like mm. vanilla yogurt with like, like with the flavors. Of they could probably do with a little more actual pumpkin flavor. Yeah, actually. They can actually probably bump up the pumpkin spice flavors just a little, but this. This is really good. Huge thumbs up. Mini cones, ginger. <laughs> with pumpkin ice cream white confectionery coating. So this isn't pumpkin spice, this is pumpkin ginger. It's pumpkin ginger, but I think it fits in the pumpkin spice category because it only comes out this time of year. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no. See, I don't like the white chocolate. No, the white chocolate every time ruins it. Oh, yeah, the white chocolate's bad. The coating tasted a little soapy. Yeah. The, 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 the ice cream is pretty good. But the ice cream is good. The ice cream, the ginger and pumpkin ice cream, big thumbs up. I, yeah. Like, I would, yeah, I would, like, I'd have, have to crack little... all this junk off and... Even though I think, I think the first, I still have that taste in my mouth of the so, chocolate, though. these kind of get a medium so-so. Yeah. I think if I didn't like that, co the coating is I just... I would like a cone just with the yeah, ice cream. Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, this is kind of a so-so. Stop with the white chocolate pumpkin spice. It's gross. It's Stop. It's so bad. The ice cream was good. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna try is Kit Kat pumpkin pie, uh, artificially and naturally flavored. All right. Look at the fall colors on the packaging. Very nice. And then you open it up and you got this <laughs> really weird color. It's uh, Kind of strange. Let's taste it. Mm. Um. Ooh. No. Sorry. No. It's weird. It's really strange. It's like white chocolate with like really fake cinnamon. Um. Oh. Not good. I will not eat this again. But I will give it to trick or treaters. What would pumpkin spice season be without pumpkin beers? Uh, and I think these are probably one of the things that might predate our old PSL. So I bought a couple from local places up by me in the Northeast uh, United States. And I'm gonna try this one first. This is from a brewery called Half Full. Uh, everyone has their seasonal brews out now. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm up in the air with seasonal brews, right? Sometimes they're a little too spicy for me, so I like the style of beer they are. They're usually ambers, but usually sometimes they're just not all that good. Let me taste this one. Ooh, that smells good. That smells promising. Oh, that is good. I like it. Um, not a huge spiciness to it. Uh, it's malty, it's delicious. Uh, that's drinkable. I like, way to go half full. The other one is Lock City Brewing. Um, the Loco Lantern. Again, looks like a nice amber ale. Um, you can smell pumpkin. It smells kind of uh, earthy. Ooh, wow. Stronger on the pumpkin spices, uh, but balanced, not bad. This to me, uh, this you can just drink, I think, but this one definitely like you would drink, I would serve this with a dessert. Like if you were having something sweet at the end of the meal or, or, Hold the phone with a nice blue cheese or a cheese with this. Big thumbs up. Both of them solid brews. Both thumbs up. Love it. Honey roasted pumpkin ravioli, thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling. Now, I think that as far as classic culinary stuff goes, you'll see a lot this time of year. Yeah. Pumpkin ravioli. So I have high hopes for this. Yeah. Especially when you throw cheese in the mix. Again, like. Yeah, the cheese kind of was like, oh, that would be like good. Know. I, I wouldn't. And as a chef, yeah. like, I always tried to, um, whenever I did some sort of pumpkin or squash, I always tried to do something savory with it. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was better savory. People always yeah. tend to, like, load up on sugar when it comes to yeah. pumpkin, but there's so much sugar in it already. As uh, we have seen. So I have high hopes for this. Okay. It's double-sided. Look at that. It's okay. orange. Orange and more orange. Orange. Well, orange and yellow, kind of. 
Okay. Are we going to split this one? Yeah, let's split this one. Okay. I'm taking the big bite. I'll take the little one. Mmm. That's good. It's a little sweet. A little sweet. We put a little salted butter on it. I like think honey roasted. I know. Well, I, here's the thing. I, I, I think this is delicious. I think this is really good. Um, I think it needs more butter. I think if we put a little more salt on mm -hmm. it, they, these would be solid. Love yeah. It. These are a big thumbs up. Yeah. I get it. I like that. them. Yeah. They're nice and sweet. Definitely needs salt. Yeah. The sweetness is like a nice, it's not yeah, like. It's balanced. It's a honey sweet. It's not yeah. like a pumpkin sweet. Mm -hmm. I got a special guest. It's my uh, my friend Juno, and she's gonna actually be our taste tester with the bacon uh, pumpkin bacon strips. Come on, come on over, Juno. Juno, come on. Look, <laughs> Juno, right here. Come on. Look, let's see what you think. Um, I don't know. Right? What do you think? She oh, she had to jump down with it. She needed a little more footing to chew it. I'd say that's a, a big yes from Juno. We've come to the end of our pumpkin spice adventure. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, hit the little bell and you'll get notified when we have new videos up. Uh, leave a comment. I love to read your comments. I really do uh, read comments and I try and answer as many as I can. I wanna hear about your pumpkin spice adventures and things that you like, things that you hate, uh, but hit me up. Um, we have merchandise. Check down the link below. Uh, I control the salt. We have a new t-shirt out. If you're a Patreon supporter, thank you so much. If you don't support us, any help is, is, is appreciated. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.